So in this video, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of some of the features in VoiceThread. Up at the top, you can see the title of this VoiceThread, along with the number of slides contained in it. If you want to look at the slides, you can click on this icon down in the lower right, and that'll show you all of the material associated with this particular thread. You can also use the arrows over here to navigate between one slide and the next. Now the real power in VoiceThread comes in your ability to comment on any of the material presented in the slide. So one of the first things you can do is click on this button towards the center of the screen, and that will allow you to either make a voice comment or a text comment, as we'll see later. If you click on a voice comment, you'll get this countdown timer, which will provide you a little bit of time before you can start drawing on the slide and recording your own voice. All of this, after you click the Stop Recording button, will be recorded into the slide and the presentation for other people to view. You can also switch, as you've just seen, between different colors of marker. Once your audio is done uploading, you can click the Save button and your comment is now displayed alongside of the content for the material. Now I'll just demonstrate briefly putting in a, a text comment. So you click on that text button and then you can just type and this text will appear alongside the voice thread. So one thing you'll notice is in this timeline along the side of the slides, all of the comments are appearing in chronological order as to when they were added. So the text comment, for example, was added last and shows up last in that list. You can change this behavior by replying directly to other people's comments. So if you click this button here, insert a direct reply, that will be a reply to that person's comment and it'll appear directly after their comment. So for example, I could insert a direct text reply to this earlier comment, click Save, and now that comment appears directly under the original comment.